black man goes into a bank, just got paid. He's try, he tries to cash his check. Uh, they don't believe it's a real check. So what do they do? They detain the brother. Obviously, the check was real. Uh, let me give you some background. This happened to a Minnesota man. He was detained by police after trying to cash his paycheck. Uh, the bank said it was fake. Uh, later, it was revealed everything was legit. Uh, the man's name is Joe Marrow. Let's put up his picture. He's an employee with United Natural Foods Incorporated. You see, Joe? Joe was a victim of racial targeting and bias and prejudice. Joe, 23 years of age, all right, just finished a 12 hour shift at a grocery distributor in October as he tried to cash a $900 check at a branch in Columbia Heights, Minnesota. The teller serving him called the manager over. They were all looking at me and just staring at me and then looking at the check and then staring at me again. And I'm already knowing what they're thinking, that the check is fake. Morrow said in an interview with KTSP TV in Minneapolis about the incident of banking while black. The manager, the manager, he came over and said, Joe Morrow, your check is fake. And I said, what? Morrow recalled, he said, you people, the bank manager said this, you people always coming in here with fake checks. Put up a picture of Mr. You People, the guy that said you people, let's put up his picture. There he is, that's the bank manager. His name is John Askwith, A-S-K-W-I-T-H, that's his name. We got that from LinkedIn. Police responded, cause they called the cops on the guy. Police responded to the bank and were with Joe for over 45 minutes. That footage has been released and Morrow can be heard saying that he's innocent in the first minute of the arrival of Sergeant Justin Pletcher. I work there, bro, Morrow says at the branch manager, John Asquith. And I'm going to report you too, bro. This is racial. While Morrow is not raising his voice or using profanity, the police officer still threatens him with arrest, saying, Joe, I need you to calm down, first of all, okay? Don't say anything stupid because you're just going to get arrested for it. Let's show a picture. This is a steal from the body camera footage, okay? At this point, he's being detained, all right? Let's show another picture, okay? Let's show the other one, yeah, okay? He stands up, he's immediately handcuffed, and the officer claims that Mr. Joe Morrow flexed at the manager. What? Flexed, that's what he claims, so he arrested him. I didn't threaten him, I didn't go up like I'm mad, Morrow said. The guy told the officer, can you get him out of my office? He might take something on my desk. That's when I got super mad, I'm going to touch something on your desk, question mark, okay? Let me tell you something, uh, first of all, the brother has a right to be mad. I get it, he wasn't, he was cool, but he has a right to be upset. Now, if I go into a bank and I'm trying to cash my check and I've just worked a 12 hour shift, I may flip all kind of tables over. You wanna put me in handcuffs for trying to get my own money. You have arrested me and threatened to take me to jail because I am a black man with a job. All right, um, ask with the manager eventually called the actual company that Joe works for. And guess what? They confirmed it. He's one of ours, he's an employee, what's the problem? All right, the check was real. Uh, the bank reached a settlement with Morrow two weeks after the incident. And that's fine, good for him, good for Mr. Joe Morrow. Uh, but we're still gonna talk about that damn bank that did it to him. All right, attorney, what's your thoughts here? One, I hope his settlement was large enough that the bank will actually take make meaningful change for this, because this is awful. I mean, I'm sure, doctor, you have gone through so many things in your yes. life that are similar to this. Yep. It's like disgusting that he was handled this way. They they could have called, first of all, his employer right away. 
You know, I mean, okay, fine. Maybe there was something in it they were suspicious about. Pick up the phone. I mean, you have a phone right there. Of course, it was racial because he immediately jumps to being fake and he immediately calls a police officer when there is no threat there. And the police officer, I thought the statement that was most interesting from a legal point of view says, be careful what you say or you'll get arrested. I didn't think it was a crime to say anything, right? We can, there is such a thing as free speech. And there was, I think that was revealing and that whether or not he was gonna arrest that man was based on how he was acting. Yep. Not whether or not he was committing a crime, which you should be able to say whatever you want in that situation and not be threatened with arrest because you've done actually no criminal activity in that moment. Yeah, that's right. You bring up a great point because I think it's worthy to highlight black men in particular, we are routinely spoken to that way by law enforcement when there's a conflict. We know we're not in the wrong, maybe we're upset. So the emotion is there, but we have to check our emotion in real time because they'll end up locking us up for something stupid, okay? Just to flex their authority.